We're going to talk now about Boolean operators. Basically, think of them like the word equation tools that we're going to be using. So it's and, or, or not. And narrows your search results. It combines the keywords to tell the database that you want it to look for items having both of the words. For example, when I put in witness and race, I will only get articles that include both those keywords. So it has to be together. We're going to start by using Academic Search Complete to practice the Boolean operator tools. So you can see when you open up the database, uh, we're starting off in the basic search. We can go here or we can just click on advanced search, which I find a lot easier. We've got witness as our first search. Oops. And just by entering witness, we have over 41,000 articles that pulled up. So what Boolean operators are really doing is trying to help us play around with the results to get the best and fewer results that we need. And and is the best one to help you narrow it down a lot. So if we were to do raise, we're gonna go from 41,000 or almost 42 to just under 700, which is great. One thing that you will notice though, is that when we start looking at the actual list of articles, you're gonna see our search terms are in bold. They could be in the subject areas or they could be in the title of the article. But that doesn't mean that every one of these articles is going to be relevant to our particular research question and information need. So you're going to have to look through it and see what works best. Or we might have to play around with our search and redo it in another way. Or broadens your search results. It searches for items that contain one or the other. You could use race or minority. There's similar terms, and that will allow me to broaden my results in a way that allows me to get a bigger scope based on how people are using language. So let's try it ourselves. We're going to look at race first. And this time we have over 300,000 articles. If we go and use OR, we added 150 more articles to our list by just adding that. One thing that you'll find really useful, and this helps with specifically geographical locations, is say you want the United States. Right, and so you can do United States or America or USA or US or United States of America, right? So you can do all that. And sometimes the tool like our EBSCOhost products, they will kind of try to be smart and help you out with that as well. So instead of having to add your own fields and do it, sometimes they do it for you, which is great. Not cuts content from the results list. So it will exclude a word from your search results. So say I'm looking for leadership, but I'm getting a lot of articles that include transformational leadership. I don't want that. So I could say leadership, not transformational. So let's try this out. Leadership. Visionary leadership. Notice even in the first result, transformational comes up. Do, do, do. See more of those 
further down maybe. Transactional, transformational leadership. So we're seeing it come up all the time, but that's not what I want, right? So this time we have 195,000, almost 196,000 articles. This time I'm going to say not transformational. And notice it's even saying transformational leadership. We can change that up too. So we cut out a couple of thousand articles, and this time we should not see it in the subject terms at all. 